Okay, folks, you are right here in Willow, or sorry, Sheep Creek Lodge again. Look at that, Travis Vanderhoof. Day three, Willow 300 2022 finishing right now. In ninth place, that bright orange sled, Travis Vanderhoof and his wife moved up from Wisconsin. Here they are, right at the finish. And there you go. Twelve dogs for big number twelve. Wowza. There we go. People helping out Travis. Let's keep an eye on the doggies. They look great. I'm going to jump over the line here so I can get some sh face shots. Hi, look at you, pretty coat. Look at your pretty colors. What a beautiful dog. Hi. Hi. You look like a happy, strong, small, ferocious doggy. Sled dog, there's Joey. I can see that on his collar. All right, folks, we're just joining Travis Vanderhoof, team number nine, into Sheep Creek Lodge. The Barrington twins just came in, Anna then Christy. And this morning we had Will Rhodes go from third place to first on a super fast run after the moose slowed everybody down in forks. Will Rhodes just blasted by Riley and Nick Petit to come in first. And here you are, we're team number nine. Beautiful day, 3.20 p.m. Right at that two degree, three degree mark. It's warmed up quite a bit. Yeah, guys, yo, you want to take off. You want to take off all your booties, don't you? All right. There it is, that wonderful moment with Musher and team at the finish, cementing those memories. Here come the leaders right here. We're just working our way up to the front. There they are. We'll let our photographer get some shots there and then I'll get it. Travis, what do you have for leader names? Princess. Princess? Princess and Timmy. Timmy's closer to Travis, folks. There's your leaders. Princess. And Timmy did or both? Timmy, did. Timmy led the whole way. The white dog with the black yeah. face next to Travis. That is fantastic. Congratulations. Hey, Travis. Thank you. Team looks all good. They're happy to be in. Oh. Nice moment there. I got one of you and your wife. Aww. I like that a lot. There you go. That's a lot of work. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. right. Good pups, Timmy and Princess. There they are. Timmy led the whole way. 285 miles. Born to lead right there. Look at that size, too. I think a lot of people think that all lead dogs are big, burly, huge, trail breaking, stomping, romping dogs. But I'll tell you what, that is often not the case. These smaller, just big hearted. Look at those beautiful bodies too. Very powerful, but smart and brave. And yeah, you're brave. You're willing to be out there ahead. That sometimes takes a lot of guts and a lot of dogs don't have that. That's why lead dogs are special, Timmy. Just like you. Yeah, and you got a great tail. Yeah. <laughs> what a sweet, sweet boy. Okay, that's a nice shot there. Good looking team. In fact, folks, this big trailer here is actually part of the light system and kind of fun stuff. So it is part of the intended backdrop. Just from a cinematography standpoint here. If you're wondering why the big text is there, the big text holds up those beautiful lights that give the mushers that uh, glow in the morning and evening. That came in really handy this morning when Will Rhodes came in.
calling out those G commands. And Timmy's listening. Bringing him right down the parking lot lane. We've done this game before. We've ran quite a bit. Let's see where their truck might be. Oh, he's got to get him to G around that. Timmy's like, hey, maybe I'll just go to the first truck. Nope, got to go around everything. There you go. Okay, yeah, get out there. There's Timmy. He's like, yeah, I'm going to mark this. <laughs> and Prince says, all right. Yeah, go get him. Go get him. Oh, see, now all the dog teams that have been here create distractions. It is kind of awkward at the end of a race because now you're in, you know, this whole little buffet area where all the ravens are eating all the leftover dog food and teens are parked and peed and girl dogs in heat and boy dogs and peeing everywhere. And so it takes a little uh, time. Riley Dyche actually came in third today. He mentioned that uh, when it was hard for his team to... Uh, get to the finish line at the last bit because they passed the the, uh, the campground here where the dogs had camped uh, at the checkpoint and the, the lead dogs wanted just to go back to the straw. And it's only a couple hundred yards, but that's just how it goes. So there you go. There is Travis disappearing off into the cabin land of Sheep Creek. It's a beautiful facility. For those of you who haven't been there, here is the lodge itself. And it does have beautiful, big timbers. We don't have that size tree readily available here in this immediate area. So those are the big timbers, big white and even bigger. And we really are grateful to the family. So thanks so much to all you all. We'll see you here soon. Go out and have an adventure with your dog. Be good to each other.